Lord, we glorify your holy name. We lift you up, Abba Father, who is like unto you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be lifted on high. We thank you, Lord, for your grace and mercy. We thank you for your presence. We worship you, God. We give you all of the glory. We give you all the praise, Lord. We thank you for who you are. Hallelujah. We worship you. We worship you. We bring greetings. We say good afternoon, Apostle Courtney McLean, First Lady, Reverend Nadine McLean, to all our ELT members, our ministers, our leaders, the diaconate, all the persons who help to hold up the hand of the man of God. We say a very good afternoon to you. We also want to say good afternoon to our members, our partners, our friends. Thank you for your patience as we work to get the Kings out to be with you this afternoon. We're excited to continue the work that we have started earlier and that we have been doing for the entire month of September. Do you remember what our slogan is for the month of September? What our apostle has been telling us to declare, has been imploring us to just work on. We have been talking about what? A September to be remembered, a September to be discovered. And we continue in that vein this afternoon. We continue to lift up the holy name of Jesus because we believe that we will be discovered. We believe that we will be seen in this month call September. It doesn't matter what is going on. We want you to know that God is going to show up this month call September. We will be discovered. We will be seen. We will be delivered in the month call September. Glory be to God. Go ahead and just worship the Lord where you are because we have great expectation. Revelations tells us that when we have great expectations, we will see the manifestation of Almighty God. And I don't know about you, but my faith has been lifted. My faith has been activated. And I'm just ready to see what God is able to do for me in this month call September. Why? Because I'm declaring a thing. Glory be to God. I'm declaring a thing. One of the scriptures that we're focused on this afternoon is found in Jeremiah 22, 29. And it says, hear, O earth. Oh my God. O earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. And what are we saying? I was taught at WCC that when you see things repeated, words repeated, verses repeated, it means that it is for emphasis. It is where the Lord wants for us to pay attention to this particular word. And right here in Jeremiah 22, 29, we're seeing where the Lord called attention to the earth, not once, not twice but three times why it indicates the significance hey i'm about to say something and you have to pay attention you have to listen up so i don't know what you are going through i don't know what you are expecting to be remembered for in september i don't know what you are waiting for to be manifested in september but i know what the word of god said it said oh earth 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 hear the word of the lord meaning that you and i should be speaking to the earth at this time the word of almighty god so that he is able to do for us that which we're asking we are to speak Speak, thus said the Lord. What is it that you want to be remembered for? What is it that you want to be delivered from? What is it that you want to be manifested in this month called September? I dare you right now to go ahead and type it in the chat and say, I declare in the name of Jesus, O earth, hear this word of God. I will see the manifestation of almighty God in my life I will receive deliverance in this month called September we are putting pressure on September we are putting pressure on September we are putting pressure on September to hear us and not only is it going to hear but it's supposed to respond to you and I 
Why should it respond to us? Because we are living Bible. We are doing what the word of Almighty God says that we're supposed to do. We are calling forth. We are speaking. We're activating our faith so that we can indeed reap the reward because we are the watchers we come in the three o'clock we come at 12 we come at at, at at six we come at nine and we are pressing and pressuring september to give up to us that which is ours i hear paul saying to timothy he says that you are to what contend you are to fight you are to push you are to war for the prophetic destiny what prophecy is over your life what word has been hanging in the atmosphere for a long time for a number of years that has yet to be manifested what is it that the devil has been holding on to we are here to speak to the earth so that it can give up that which god has promised us so that it can give up to us that which is ours i dare you go ahead and tell the earth to give up oh earth hear the word of the lord today i receive my health i decree and declare wealth is mine i decree and declare favor follows me come on go ahead and declare something because we shall have what we say as you speak the word of god we shall receive that which we say why we're not speaking our words we're speaking the word of god to the earth so it has to respond the earth has to respond to us we are speaking the word of god as he has laid it on our hearts so i want for you to understand this afternoon that we are joining our faith together with our man of god with our apostle with our spiritual father and mother we are joining our faith with them and we're gonna Speak to the earth today and say, earth, give up that which you're holding on to. Let go of that which God has promised us. Loose whatever chains you have binding us. Because September is a month where we shall be discovered. September is a month where we shall be seen. September is a month where we shall be delivered. We shall obtain the promises of God in this month called September. I don't know about you, but I am excited for September to come to an end because I know that before it ends, that which I am longing for will come to fruition. Why? Because I am activating my faith and we're praying now Mark 11, 22 to 24 and the word of God says, do you have faith? Do you have faith? Because my brothers, my sisters, if you have faith, then we know this afternoon that the God whom you serve, the one you are calling upon in the early morning, the one you are calling upon in the midnight, the one who you are calling upon in the afternoon is able to do exceedingly abundantly above that which you can ask him or imagine this afternoon. So I am standing, oh my God, uh, by faith faith depending on almighty god to do it oh i'm depending on him because in this season i'm walking not by sight but by faith i am walking not by my will but in the spirit of almighty god i said i am walking oh in the glorious favor of almighty god because i know that if i have faith i am able to say to this mountain be he removed what mountain do you have in your life this afternoon what mountain do you need to speak to what mountain do you need to tell to go from your life what veil has been blocking you what veil has been hiding you and preventing your boss from finding you from from preventing your investors your destiny helpers from coming forth as i say, speak 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 to that veil speak to that mountain and tell the mountain to move because if you have faith the bible says if you have faith as small as a mustard seed then you can tell the mountain to move because you and i we have authority we have power jesus said have faith in god have faith in god remember where we start we started out by saying that earth 
needs to hear the word of the Lord. And hearing the word of the Lord, you and I need to have faith in the God that we serve. The El Elohim, the Alpha and the Omega, the Omnipotent One. We need to have faith in the God who created the, the atmosphere, who created the universe. The one who spoke a word. And in speaking a word, things were formed. In speaking a word, things became a reality. It is the same God you and I are to have faith in. That when we speak to the earth our faith in God will breed results it will bring results so the Lord says verily verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto the mountain be thou removed you see guys we have the weapon my brothers my sisters my friend we have the weapons we have the weapons that is able to give us the victory we have the weapons that we can use to silence the enemies we have the weapon that we can use to back up satan offer for finances offer for health offer for wealth offer for our in destiny help us or family we have the weapon and it can be found right here in Mark 11, 22. 23 says, For verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall say to the mountain, Be thou removed, and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart. So there's a caveat there. If you say it without doubt, you shall have it. If you declare it without doubt, you shall have it. So we need to ensure that in our heart there's no room for doubt. The Bible says that we're to guard our heart because out of it flows the issues of life. You and I are to guard our heart so diligently that no fear, no doubt, no unbelief, no unforgiveness shall be in our heart. Because when we do that, we are able to activate and walk in faith in the God that we serve. So you must believe. But thou but shall believe that those things which you say, those things that you say, Shelley, those things that you say, Charmaine, those things that you say, Kimisha, those things that you say, Teresa, those things that you say, Shireen, Jessica, those things that you say, you will have. You say will come to pass. Come on, those things that you say. You shall have whatsoever you say. What are you saying this afternoon? What are you saying this afternoon? A couple of weeks ago, our bishop taught us about the law of confession. The law of confession. What is it that you are confessing? Because if you are confessing negativity, then guess what? That's right. You are going to reap negativity because Galatians 6 says, God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So if you sow negativity, you will reap negativity. If you say positivity, you will reap positivity. If you speak in faith, then you shall reap in faith. Come on, somebody. Activate your faith in God this morning so that you can have whatsoever you say. And in this month called September, we are going to declare clear some things we are saying th some things over our life that we want to see manifested and we are standing in faith eradicating doubt from our heart eradicating doubt from our heart we are eradicating doubt from our heart by standing in faith are you with me frederick frederica are you with me sister opal sister lisa are you with me i say we are standing in faith faith and saying something and we are saying we will be discovered in september we will be delivered in september our destiny helpers shall find us in september i said our wealth shall find us in september our deeper level anointing shall find us in september we are saying by faith that the veil has been removed and we will be discovered in September. I am so excited. I am so excited. Because the next part of the verse says, Therefore I say unto you, 
what things soever he desire when you pray let's break that down a bit as our bishop taught us he says that you have to desire the thing what is it that is in your heart because that is a desire what is it that is in your heart what is it that is in that secret place that nobody knows that you know that you're saying to god you know what lord i really want to be a motivational speaker you know what god i really want to be a doctor you know what god i really have a desire to just preach the gospel so that men and women can know that there is only one true living God. What is it that you are desiring? Because right here in the scripture we see where the word of God says. Whatsoever you desire. God did not put a limit on your de desire. God did not put a limit on the things that you can desire. So why are you Oh, glory be to God. Why are you limiting yourself? Why are you limiting God? It says whatsoever. There is no limit on that whatsoever. Whatsoever you desire. When you pray, we are about to pray, people of God. I say we are about to pray. Because when we pray and believe that we will receive oh glory so here is it now when you pray you have to believe that you receive it and you shall what have them you shall have them sister kimisha what is it that you are believing god for this afternoon i said the bible says when you pray sister opal when you pray oh my god when you pray sister andrea believing you receive them you shall have it we are about to pray this afternoon we are about to lift up our voices sister chantal we are about to lift up our voices lift up our voices and we are going to proclaim something to the earth today so that the earth can let go of what god has given unto us i as a militant i don't know about you but i was activated this morning oh my spiritual leader my spiritual father activated me this morning my faith and so i am militant believing that i can have whatsoever i say because sometimes you know the bible says hope defer make it the heart sick in other words when you're delayed gratification sometimes result in us losing hope because we're human we're not making any excuses and we're not pretending to be that which we are not sometimes because we say the lord says wait we get a little bit overwhelmed in the waiting room but i'm here to tell you this morning that we are going to speak to the earth we are going to declare a thing and we are going to see the manifestation in the month called september we're going to pressure we're going to pressure we're going to pressure september to let go of what god has given unto us because as it is in heaven so shall it be on the earth i hear david said in psalm 24 he says i will experience the goodness of the lord in the land of the living and i don't know about you but i want to activate and to release all the goodness oh my god in this time in this season in this month can i get an amen somebody can I get an amen, somebody? We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Are you ready to pray? Are you a part of that person who have a whosoever and a whatsoever in your heart that you desire God to do for you in this month called September? Oh, glory be to God. I said, I will be discovered in September. Oh, are you ready to pray? Let's up, let us just give God some worship. Hallelujah to your name. Come on. Come on, Sister Karen. Come on. Let's give God some praise, Sister Lisa. Oh, we worship you. Sister Marcia, let's give God some praise. Let's worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Oh, I see you there, Minister Kesima. Oh, glory be to God. We just honor you. Oh, glory be to God. I'm so excited for what God is going to do because when the watchers 
when the people of God gather together where two or three are gathered oh touching anything concerning oh my God the Lord promises that he's going to show up are you ready for him to show up this afternoon and to bless you oh I don't know about you but I said I'm in a I'm in a, a, a mode of expectancy I said I'm at the edge of my seat because I truly believe that in this month called September I shall be discovered we want to lift our voices together I don't know where you are but maybe you want to take the phone and go into the bathroom or maybe you want to pull over to the side of the road because I tell you this afternoon we are about to lift our voices oh and one accord we are about to proclaim I know some people believe that it doesn't take all that and in fact it may not do it for you but when you are pressing and pushing for year after year and you see nothing rather than giving up I believe we should go harder we should go harder and we should pressure 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 the earth to give up that which is ours to give up that which has been prophesied over us to give up that which has been spoken over us to give up that which has been written about us in the book of almighty god are you ready to pray are you ready to lift your voice i'm just waiting for those to pull over on the side of the road i'm waiting for those to leave the lunch room and to go into the rest room so that we can lift our voices because i believe in this month called september as we stand with our bishop and first lady as we stand with our wealthy family friends and partner that God is going to hear all oh, the cry of the watcher and turn the heart oh my God of those naysayers he's gonna turn those negative into positive as the watchers cry out hallelujah hallelujah we thank you Jesus we exalt your name Lord we shabak you today because we believe that you can do oh so much more than what we ask we thank you God that every person online is taking account of your word and living your word this morning oh God we come to you oh, as Jeremiah did and we command the earth oh earth give up our blessing oh earth give up our children oh earth give up our husband husband oh earth give up our anointing oh earth give up mighty god everything that has been written about us i said we speak to the earth lord we speak to the earth because god we are tithers we have given oh my god back to you one tenth of water you have blessed us with we have come in covenant with you god Almighty God and because we are in covenant because Charmaine is in covenant because Novlet is in covenant because Teresa is in covenant with you I say we come to speak to the earth and we say oh earth give up the woman's children give up the woman's husband give up the woman's anointing give up her health or oh, give up her job in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I say we speak to your earth as God has bestowed upon us oh God every blessing of Abraham a seed of Abraham I say we give up almighty God ourselves unto you so that we can receive oh God everything that you have in store for us you withheld not your only begotten son but you willingly give him up for us how much more mighty God will you withhold the desires of our heart so we are speaking all to the earth to bring forth that which God has promised us I said we're speaking on one accord with one raised voice all to the earth and we say oh earth oh earth oh earth give up that which God has prophesied over us give up that which has been written about us give up that which we have been toiling and waiting for oh we speak to you this afternoon give up give up give up mighty God give up 
that which you have been holding on to. I said, we come, Lord, casting out all fears. We come, Lord, casting out all doubt. I said, we come, God, casting out every hindrance. Oh, to this word being manifested. My God, further in the scripture in Mark, you said, Lord God, that we need not, should not have any unforgiveness or anything that is counter to the word and the spirit of Almighty God. So this afternoon, Daddy, we ask you all to search our heart and see if there be any wicked ways inside of Diana. See if there be any unforgiveness in Nicola. See if there be any unforgiveness in Frederica that would prevent her from receiving that which the earth has for us. I say, my God, see if there be anything that would prohibit all the earth from giving up that which is ours. I say, wash us, God, like David said, purge us with Isap, make our hearts pure, give us clean hands and pure heart, God, so that when we come and command the earth or oh, to give up our blessing, to give up our anointing, to give up our purpose, to give up our children, to give up our husband, to give up all that you have prophesied and ordained and predestined for us. We are not limited. We are not limited because there's no enmity, Lord, between you and us that would prevent you, Lord, from granting unto us all the desires of our heart. You said in Mark 11, whatsoever we desire, whatsoever we desire. When we pray, when we pray, come on somebody, are you praying with me? Are you praying with me? The word said, when you pray, it says, when you pray, believe you receive them. Believe you receive and you shall have them. I said, when you pray, Lord, we are com coming before you. As the word says, we are following instructions. It says, when we pray, when we pray, I said, Lord, we're coming in the noonday watch. Oh, to pray unto you, O Lord, that the earth may hear the word of Almighty God and give up that which it has been holding on to. I said, every chain be broken every tentacle be loosed oh and give up i said everything buried is uprooted in the name of jesus every word curse spoken has been nullified i said lord disappoint disappoint in this month called september the devices of the enemy against your children against the blood wash i said disappoint i said disappoint god all the devices though that they may have null effect upon the children because we declare in this month called September, we declare a thing, oh God, we speak to the earth, no weapon, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, no word curse, I said every tongue that rise up in judgment against the children of God, oh shall come into judgment and have null effect upon those who are blood washer, I said neutralize them in in this month called September. I said neutralize them in this month called September because Lord, we seek after you. I said we're hungry after you, Lord. Oh, as a dear panther for the water brooks, so we hunger oh, for your anointing in this month called September. I said bless mighty God, our apostle and his wife. Bless your children in this month called September. Lord God, may miracles, oh signs and wonders continue to follow them in this month called September. Lord God, the spirit of boldness according to Micah 3 be upon him, Lord God, to another level, another dimension so that when he speaks, God as a government bow at his voice, mighty God, because he speaks as an orator of the most high God I say, bless him, God I say, then circle around about him and camp around about him, Lord Lord, and his family Jesus and we decree no weapon no weapon oh shall come up against him in the mighty name of Jesus
I said, Lord, cover first lady from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. I said, in this month called September, we back up and reject every negative report. Oh, mighty God, and every word that has been spoken about her negatively in the name of Jesus. I said, Lord, you have given us, oh, good women, oh, God, a good man and woman of God, a true son of the living God to steer and direct us, oh, over into the promised land Lord God and we declare that they shall guide they shall walk they shall toil oh in the spirit of the Lord and no weapon no voice no curse no naysayers shall be able to stall them we say Lord return to send every package that has been sent in their direction not of you we say return to send as we toil in this month called September as we pressure this month called September we say we're returning every package not from you oh God that may want to come into the spirit of the man and woman of God and against your children we thank you Lord God for every leader of Wafif every member of Wafif every partner of Wafif every friend of Wafif every person who have sown a seed into the ministry God to advance the kingdom of God almighty God through the proclamation of your word and the actions that we have we thank you for every Caleb spirit that has given into this ministry we pray God in this season in this month called September that you will honor them Lord and break the earth break the earth asunder and cause your gift oh to come up and make room for more Lord in this month called September I said we put pressure oh I hear in the old days when I was in primary school I used to hear the children sing pressure pressure soup soup I said we come to tell the enemy it's pressure pressure soup soup in the month called September because we are relentless in our pursuit of God we are relentless in the gift of God we are relentless in what God has promised us you might have fooled us yesterday Glory be to God. You might have fooled us last month. We might have forgotten for a minute who we are. But we come back in September knowing who we are. I said we are the head and not the tail. Above and not beneath. We are able to speak. Glory be to God. And have things manifested. I said we speak to our September. We will be discovered. We will be delivered. Our destiny help us shall find us. Glory be to God. The anointing shall double in the month of September. I said everything we desire according to Mark 11. Oh, glory be to God. Everything we desire. When we pray, believe we receive them and we shall have them. We believe, Lord Jesus. We believe, Lord Jesus. We believe. Sister Marcia believe. Sister Andrea believe. Sister Teresa believe. Sister Rosalie believe. Sister Natasha believe in. Sister Marina believe in. Oh, Sister Lisa Richardson believe in. Oh, we are believing in this month called September. That every blessing Lord promised unto us will be unto us according to your will. Let it be, Lord, let it be, as we surrender all to thee. Give up what is ours, O earth, hearing the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for honoring the watchers this afternoon. Thank you, God, for honoring the watchers, Lord, who is toiling in this season. Lord, we give glory to your name. Thank you for shifting things up, mighty God, and revealing who we are. Oh, we will be discovered. I shall be discovered in this month called September. I'm so excited for what God is going to do. What he has already started. Because I don't know about you, but do you feel a little shift in your atmosphere? Do you feel since we have been on this September to remember and to be discovered? We have, there's a little shift in the atmosphere. And so I'm waiting with great expectation that before the last day of this month, we shall testify. We shall testify. Glory be to God. I hope you are excited about what God has started. And that you will not, ladies and gentlemen, 
brothers and sisters, do not, do not become disheartened. Let not your soul be disquieted within you and give up because your breakthrough is just around the proverbial corner and the enemy puts on the pressure so that you can give up. But remember our declaration, we shall have what we say. Law of confession. So we are going to confess until the end of the month. I will testify. I will testify. Do not be distracted. Do not be overcome. Turn up that volume on your phone. Turn that volume on your television. And worship God in this season. Because we are standing with our man and woman of God. Apostle Courtney McLean and First Lady Reverend Nadine McLean. And all the leaders and ELT of worship and faith are standing with you to say September we will be discovered. I'm so excited that you chose to be with us this afternoon. And we invite you to come back tomorrow morning at 6.30 and join us for another What You Believe session as we continue to put pressure on September to give up to us that which belongs to us. On behalf of Apostle, First Lady, Reverend Nadine McLean, the ELT, the leaders, the members, thank you for joining us. And we want to see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. Um, at our Bible study. Remember, we have different paths that you can take at that time. And so you can register for any one of the six weeks program that we're offering, the different growth plans. Ensure that you register. You still have time. It's a certificate, certificate course, and you will get a certificate at the end of the six weeks. So make sure that you show up tomorrow and be in any one of the sessions that you are interested in. I think we have sessions on parenting, building and maintaining better relationship, starting a business, and managing your finances. And of course, all the leaders will be in a special session with our bishop concerning our own personal growth and development in that area. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Deaconess Dion Smith, and I am so happy that you are with me. Until next time, God bless you. Have yourself a wonderful rest of the day.